Hello, my Stampin' Friends, Brenda Hillard. I'm Brenda Hillard, Independent Stampin' Up! Demonstrator, and I can be found at createwithbrenda.com. And today, let's, let me tell you a little bit about my host code up here. My April host code, um, as you can see, is there. When you shop with me online and at checkout, you enter my host code for the month. And your product order is $50 or more before tax and shipping. I send you absolutely free this pack of basic white note cards and envelopes. There's 20 note cards, 20 envelopes, and these are the thick basic white. They are mailable and it's just a great it's a great offering and I'll ho I hope you take advantage of it. I'm always looking for new team members. I'm always looking for new customers. And I really pride myself in exceptional customer service and I take really good care of my team. So if you've been considering joining, please contact me. And if you're just starting to stamp, let's talk because I am, I've been a stamper for 30 years or more, and I still am just as enthusiastic today about stamping as I was back then. So, and I'd love to share that excitement and that joy with you. So contact me if you're interested and be sure to take care of the deal or um, take advantage of the deal with the April host code. So today is my final project using the Forever Greenery Designer Series paper. I'm using a couple other products that will be retiring as well. And so I hope you have been in the know that this annual catalog will be going away um, on May 3rd will be the last day to order. There is a um, last chance product sale going on right now. Some products have already gone, but there's still a really good selection. So like I said, I hope you'll check that out. Um, not everything in this catalog is retiring. I wanna clarify that. But there are a, a fair number of things that are retiring. So check your list check it twice and now's the time to grab those. Some of them are deeply discounted up to 60% off. So it's worth worth taking a look. Um, there are a few bundle prices that are carrying over into our new catalog. However, most of the bundle prices will go away on anything that carries over. So for the Forever Fern, um, stamp set and dies the bundle price will go away and you'll have to purchase the stamp set and the dies separately so if this is something that you're interested in now's the time to get it at 10 percent all right enough of that let's move on to our project our project today uses the Forever Greenery designer series paper as I said this will be my last project that I post um, using the Forever Greenery DSP because I'm at the end of my stock. <laughs> Sad but true. And this paper is beautiful. If you're a new stamper, this is really some paper to check into because the paper itself makes the card. You just have to add a very simple sent sentiment or a ribbon and it's, it's great. So. There's that. And our project is here. This is what it looks like. And the front is layered quite a bit, but then the rest of it is pretty simple. We're gonna be bringing in our stamp and cut and emboss mini. If you're not familiar with the mini, it has a little over three inch receiving tray and it fits a lot of things, but not everything. So um, I always tell people if you do not have a die cutting machine, 
you probably want to purchase the full size um, machine because then you know that you can cut everything. Okay, so is what we're going to start off with. Let me get my my pieces of cardstock here. You're going to need a basic white cards uh, card base that measures five and a half by eight and a half, scored at four and a quarter. And we'll give that a really good crease with our bone folder. All right. And then you are going to want a piece of designer series paper that measures four inches by three and three quarter inch. You're gonna want another piece of designer series paper that measures four by one and three quarter inch. I have one of the beautiful forever gold laser cuts. And this one has the circle. Um, I have a scrap piece of basic white. And with that, we're gonna use the ornate layers dies. And I just want this stitched rectangle out of there. <coughs> Sorry, I'm going to take a drink of water and then that'll stop. Okay. Um, I have the stitched shapes framelits. This almost makes me cry. These are going to retire. And these I use a lot, as you've probably seen in previous videos. I'm using the second to the largest circle. And then I also am using the layering circle dies and a piece of basic white. And I'm using the second to the largest circle here. I should probably measure that because you may not have your dies in the same order that I do. So saying second to the largest. This is about a two and a quarter inch circle. So you could use the circle punch too, I guess, if you wanted to. So let me bring in my cutting platforms. I have platform number one. I have two number two plates. So I'm going to lay the first one down. I'm going to put my circle, my layering circle die, and then the other number two plate. And then I'm just going to move those through my machine. And you know that you don't want your plates even. You want them staggered like that when you use your mini. It'll just make it a lot easier to move things through. So our next piece that we're gonna die cut is the old olive. And again, we're gonna stagger. And again, we'll just roll these through. Okay. And one more time, we'll do our basic white with the long rectangle stitched. And that again comes from the ornate layers dies. So I'm just gonna put that right on here and roll that through. Okay, so there's our die cut pieces that we need for our project. And we can move our, 
our little mini. Okay, so let's start layering up our card. I'm bringing in our card base. And with the stamp and seal, I'm gonna take our biggest piece of cardstock and I'm just going to add some seal to the edges and a little in the middle. A little in the middle, that rhymes. And then we're just going to make sure that we have our borders fairly equal. And I can see I don't have my card folded exactly, so we'll just give that one, one more go over with our bone folder and that'll just even that right up for us. And then our piece of designer series paper that measured four by one and three quarter. You guys, don't you love this? Like, okay, so this is the same paper but then I can just use the reverse side and our color coordination is so great with Stampin' Up! products that it just, it just automatically goes together. If you've, um, I don't know, I don't like spending a lot of time at the store shopping for paper. Some people do and good for them, I don't. So, this just makes it really fun for me because I can get right to creating. I don't have to shop for all the matching stuff. Now, this is something worth mentioning. This is the Ornate Garden Ribbon Combo. It's Calypso Coral, Old Olive, and you get five yards of each of the ribbons. They're a quarter inch wide. These are normally, um, I just have to look quick. These are normally $8. They are 60% off, which makes them $2.80 for 10 yards of ribbon. You guys, you've got to go and check out this last chance product sale. There are deep discounts. Some things are not, not on, they're retiring and they're not on sale at all. Other things are 20% off, which that's a great savings. But then there's some things like this that are up to 60% off. So $2.80 for 10 yards of a ribbon. That's crazy, crazy, crazy. So. I'm going to wrap it around our rectangle here. And then I'm going to tie it in a bow, which I know, I know, I know, I know. A lot of people don't like or are not able to tie bows or can tie bows but don't like to. So if you're one of those people, tie a knot. It doesn't matter. But I want a bow. So I'm going to put my bow on my card just like that. Bring in my snips. And I'm just going to snip my ends. Okay, good deal. Remember, check it out. All right. I'm going to run some snail along the back of our stitched rectangle. And then I'm going to put that right here where the two designer series papers meet. Okay. <coughs> Have a dry spot. I've been recording and then you talk a lot and then your throat gets all dry and start getting choked. All right. So this is going to go on there, but I'm not going to do it yet. It's going to need just a minute because I'm going to bring in another tool. And that is the Stamparatus. So here we go. And I'm going to start out with our circle. 
And I'm just gonna secure that in there with the, with the super magnets. And I wanna line it up so that the thanks is centered and fits in the diameter of our circle, okay? I'm gonna take my memento black ink and I'm gonna put it right underneath this acrylic plate because then it sits level. And when I go to ink up my, my stamp, then it'll sit nice and firm for me. So I'm gonna bring the plate over. I'm gonna pick up, pick up my stamp and using Garden Green, I'm going to ink up my thanks and I'm going to stamp it on my circle. Pretty nice, huh? The nice part about it is, is watch this. I can ink this up again. And let's say I didn't get the coverage that I wanted there. I can just stamp again. And as long as I didn't move anything here, I get the exact mark, the exact same place. So I get that second chance at getting the impression that I want. So I'm gonna move this to 90 degrees from the platform here, and then I'm just gonna lift up and take that out, okay? So it comes with two platforms. So I have one up here and it's gonna be hard to see, but I've got it at 90 degrees. And there's this little stamp from the Ornate Thanks. So you get this thanks, but then you can add all these different sentiments if you want to. So what I want it to say is thanks, my friend. So I'm gonna put my friend right where I want it there. I'm gonna close my acrylic plate, pick up my stamp. I'm going to turn it just because I have my stamp pad over here. And now, instead of the garden green, I'm going to use my old olive ink. I'm going to ink up my friend. And don't worry about this, don't worry. No worries, no worries. And I'm just gonna put that right down here. Look how sweet that is. And again, like I demonstrated before, I can ink up again and I can put it down. And as long as I didn't move anything here, I can restamp and it comes out just like I want it. Cool, right? If you don't have a Stamparatus, you want a Stamparatus, I'm telling you. And I can help you get one. So check with me before you, before you go out there and just purchase any stamp positioner because the Stamparatus is, is the best. It really is. And I've tried others and so I'm speaking from experience. Okay, so now is what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our little piece here and give that some stamp and seal. And I'm gonna center it in the stitching on my circle. Then I'm going to take more seal Add it to the back. Bring in my laser piece. And I'm going to center it on there. So now I have this big piece with all of the sparkly gold laser. It's beautiful. And we're going to add some full size. Whoops. Come back, come back. 
full-size Stampin' Dimensionals to the back of our die cut piece. And <clears throat> I'm going to slide a couple of these underneath the bow just so that it doesn't hang over the edge of our card because we want it to fit in our envelope, remember? So there it is. Pretty, pretty, pretty. And really, it's just the paper and the laser cut. I mean, we did do a fair amount of die cutting compared to a couple of the previous, but that's okay. It adds so much. So let's bring in the um, gold glitter enamel dots and our take your pick tool. I'm using the pointy end, this comes off, and you have like a spatula end. There's a few different tips for this too. There's like a, the other one that comes with it is the scoring tool. You have a small ball and then a larger ball. And then this you can purchase separately, but this, Oops, wrong end. This screws into this end. And then when you do those fine detail dies and you're trying to get all those little pieces out, you can just simply roll this over and it takes all those little pieces out of your, of your die cuts. The intricate die cuts, I should say. All right. Let's grab a few of these. I want, I'll take one of the big ones. I'll take a smaller one. And another big one. Put it right up there. Thanks, my friend. I think it's really pretty. So now let's do our inside. Our inside is going to be with the garden green. And I chose another sentiment out of the ornate thanks. And I want it to say, you made my day. I already know who I'm gonna send this to, so pretty excited about this one. I'm gonna ink it up, stamp it down. And remember, you want to give that ink time to penetrate the paper. This font is just so cute. It's little, but it's so curvy and cute. So you've made my day. So now is what I did. Is you know, we had those wreaths in the, I'll show you. We had those wreaths in the gold laser cuts that look like this. I just snipped, I just snipped them apart and have been using them like on the envelopes or wherever I want that little gold, gold flash. I'm gonna put this right up at the top I love how that looks. And I love comments and I hope you subscribe to my channel. That keeps me motivated and wanting to keep creating wonderful projects for you. So there's our card. I really love it. And I don't know what I did. I know I had a, I had an envelope ready here for us to make. So let's find it. Yay, it's right here. And this time on this one, I had this pattern. So on this one, let's do this, okay? So I'm gonna put this down. 
I'm going to do my liquid glue right close to the score line on our envelope flap. And we'll put this down. Give it a rub. All right. And then, as I've said before, that envelope flap is, it provides like a cutting template. And our snips are so nice and sharp that it just kind of follows right along the, that ridge that the flap forms. Oops, you can see I got a little I must have slipped a little bit with my glue when I was giving it a rub, but no problem. Just trim that little bit off and look at our pretty, pretty envelope now. So there's our, there's our project for today. I hope you love it. And I hope, hope, hope that you will jump in and check out this um, last chance product sale. So that is my final farewell to the Forever Greenery DSP. I hope you've enjoyed it as much as I have, and I hope I've inspired you to purchase it while it's on sale. Have a great day, and until next time, peace out. Bye-bye.